Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today let's paint a rock study. And if you've been following the previous two videos, you know that we have most of the rock finished. I just want to push it a little bit more towards realism. And you might say, well, why not just do a photo overlay? Well, for this case, I actually just want to hand paint the details. But as an example, I want to show you this checkerboard, and bear with me here. This is going to explain a little bit about layer blending modes. So here, if I were to change this opaque normal layer to the multiply blending mode, which you're probably familiar with, everything gets darker. Well, what I want to do is switch it to the overlay blending mode. So here we have the areas that were lighter than gray are lightening the image, and the areas that were darker than gray are darkening the image. So what it does is it preserves the underlying value structure. You can still see the rock below, but it just sort of enhances darker and lighter wherever these checker spaces are. So I could lower the opacity and get a very subtle effect. So you can still see the checkerboard, but you can also still see the rock. So let's see how I could make a custom brush that would take that into account. The base brush I'll be using is one that I made in the custom brush design series. So here you can see it has sort of a random quality to it, and it looks kind of like a messy, dirty grunge brush. But what I wanted to do is to give me that value variation so I can start to simulate the texture of rock. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the brush palette and in color dynamics, I'm going to add a little bit of what they call brightness jitter here, 8%, that should be sufficient. And I'm going to switch it to a middle value. So now when I paint with it, you can see there's a bit of variety in each of those strokes. If I wanted to Exaggerate it a little bit, I could make it even more. Maybe I'll find a middle point. Okay, so here as you see, if I just paint with it as an opaque layer, it looks a little bit like rock texture, but it might be kind of hard to control. Well, remember, I'm going to be using this as an overlay layer. So back in my rock document, I'll get rid of that checkerboard, but I'll make a new layer and set it to overlay. So now as I paint with this brush, you can see it has that textural look that I'm going for. If I make bigger marks, they just overwrite the texture from before. And then I can lower the opacity to get the look that I'm going for. This is really all about subtlety. Remember, we got all the major values in there before. Now I just want to add a little bit of that fine grain detail. And for me, it's a little bit easier to paint it this way than it would be to manually paint each of those tiny little strokes. So I will paint large brush strokes like this for a while until I'm feeling good about it. And now you'll notice here I'm going outside of the lines, and that's not the look I'm going for. So it might be useful to bring it inside of this mask here. So now my edges are preserved. And of course you can always use the eraser tool to take it back where you've gone too heavy-handed. Now the final thing I want to do in this image is to change my edge from being super razor sharp. Remember, we made this with the lasso tool. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the mask thumbnail itself. You can see here, it's, there's a little bracket around this black and white image. Well, now I'm going to modify that with the brush tool. So here I'll pick a brush with a little bit of texture and I'm going to zoom way in and paint with black. And what this does is the same as erasing some of that mask edge. And so this way I can sort of soften up my edge and give it a little more of a lively textural look. More like it was painted with natural media and not so razor sharp. And eventually I come up with a result that I'm very happy with. This I would call a finished rock study. Now of course you could do much more detail if you wanted to, it really all depends on your needs. But if you want to paint like this, you're going to need to understand the basic techniques that I used. We added subtle texture to our rock using an overlay layer and hand painting the texture with a custom brush. And then we softened up the outer contour of our rock by modifying the mask itself. So if any of these techniques are new or unfamiliar to you, I've linked related videos at the bottom of the post. So make sure to watch those and learn more about them. All right, get out there and paint some rocks. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.